What's up, Fire Signs? It's your girl, Isabella Tara Tarot, back at it again to hit you with your February 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. If you need a personal, all that information is in the description box below along with my PayPal and Cash App. If you have paid for your personal reading, email me, please. Because if not, I have no way of contacting you. Um... Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get in here. So I pulled from the Rebel deck to kind of see what was really going on um, for the fire signs between the 1st and the 15th, okay? And it's very, like, I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on what you're eating, the way you're eating, and definitely paying attention to what you're putting into your body between the 1st and the 15th, okay? I feel like, because this is what came out, I feel like some of you are having issues in regards to your diet, possibly because of um, being in your head about a certain partnership that's not panning out the way that you had intended it to or the way that you had wanted it to. There's something going on within the home that is not as as you would want it to be which this may have something to do with mercury retrograde we are going to also dip into that to see what mercury's got for you guys but i feel like with the rebel deck we've got have you eaten have you eaten you are acting like a big ass baby you need food in your belly eat a fucking taco okay so i feel like a lot of you are going to be like really eating comfort foods because of um a certain feeling that you are feeling and in, in regards to like I feel like it's there's a little bit of um I feel like it's a for some of you this won't be for everybody but for some of you I feel like there's a depression around or like there's some kind of depressing energy surrounding you in regards to a certain relationship in your life possibly with your mother or you know somebody that you have a family with okay and I feel like it's definitely affecting what you're putting into your body between the 1st and the 15th. I've got step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Alright, so this is basically letting me know comfort foods are definitely because of for some of you you are going through a breakup between the first and the 15th just letting you know like as far as mercury and retrograde i feel like some of you are definitely um there are definitely um relationships being cut out of your life and i feel like you're feeling some type of way about it um i feel like you feel like you've invested way too much in certain situations for them to have panned out like this and you're really going to be um sit look, sitting watching netflix eating ice cream is really the energy that i'm getting right now um some of you are having to nurture yourself to step away from you know strict plans i feel like you're be between the first and the 15th you're going to be taking time out to really take care of yourself to take care of your emotional state okay i feel like there's something that's going on that's going to cause you to have to you know Pull your energy back from the world and really focus on your feelings and sorting through feelings, okay? Um, for some of you, look, this is, this one this one's not going to be for everybody to get a message that somebody, um, someone's involved with does have an STD. And I feel like this may be how you found out about something going on in a relationship to where you had to cut the shit off and it's like really depressed like over the fact that you've wasted so much you've invested so much in somebody that really wasn't worth your time okay but underneath the bottom of the deck what's not seen is clarity there's definitely a lot of like i feel like you're really going to be in your head between the first and the 15th okay Let's go ahead and dig deeper. Let's see, how is Mercury going to affect the fire signs? What do they need to be aware of? How is Mercury affecting the fire signs and what do they need to be aware of? Damn it all to hell. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. The fact that fire signs that definitely came out, I feel like this is definitely a message for the Leos. With the King of Wands and the strength that came out, quite strength over brute force. I feel like I feel like this is a message for the Leos. 
And I feel like this is basically telling you to stand up for yourself and nurture yourself. Like, I feel like you've possibly um, had to rely too much on your masculine side. And between the 1st and the 15th, you're really going to have to try to focus on balancing out those energies. I feel like you are being told to nurture your heart, to nurture yourself, I feel like. I feel like some of you are actually going to reach out to an old partner. Like, I feel like, um, I heard get over, get under one to get over one, which that's not always the case, but I mean, that's what I heard. So I feel like some of you are also going to be reaching out to someone that you might have stopped talking to because you were in a certain partnership. Okay. Like messages. I am seeing that you are going to, I feel like you are going to be trying to, you know, mend your heart from a certain situation that you feel like you wasted way too much time on i feel like a lot of you are going to start investing in your beauty routines i feel like like you're really focusing on changing your hair your makeup routine like i feel like you're going to definitely be taking more care of yourself as to where before i don't feel like you were i feel like something's definitely happened um to change the way that you're communicating with people like, I feel like you are in the process of softening yourself. But I feel like for some of you, you're going to be getting offers that you really... Like, I'm seeing someone, you know, going through a breakup and then going to a bar to... Which I do not recommend that during, you know, all the shit that's going on. But, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing somebody going to a bar and picking someone up. But not being pleased with the people that they're picking up, okay? I feel like you're basically going to be in this energy of trying to find yourself again. Find what makes you feel good again. But I feel like your mind is still going to be on this past partnership that didn't pan out, okay? Um, what you're not seeing is you have the ability to manifest what it is that you want into your reality and I feel like certain relationships are being cleansed from your life because they were meant to be cleansed I feel like there was something that you were holding on to um for a long time like I'm getting the feeling of possibly feeling like you had to be somebody's mama or possibly like feeling like y'all were just roommates or that you were having to be somebody's mother okay and I feel like You're stepping out of that and focusing on yourself and making yourself feel better about yourself. I'll take that for what it is. Like, I feel like it's more so like you're being, instead of having your focus mainly on someone else, you're having to put that focus back into yourself to build yourself up. I'm feeling like somebody kind of came in and really affected your self-esteem in some way between the first and the 15th you're really going to be trying to focus on rebuilding yourself rebranding yourself is what i heard okay and i feel like you're stronger than you think you are in regards to the situation i feel like you are going to be getting love offers coming in um but you're not really going to be you're not really going to be in it for anyone that's over there reaching out to you, I, f I feel like there will be suitors reaching out to you, but I don't feel like you're going to really um, entertain them. Like, I feel like you may accept a drink from somebody, but you're really not going to be interested in getting to know them, okay? Like, I feel like you're mainly in this energy of healing your heart between the 1st and the 15th because something that you you put a lot of time, energy, and effort into just didn't pan out. I do see that you are going to reach back out to someone who you might have dealt with in the past. Um, and I feel like that person is going to be receptive to you, but I don't feel like they're going to be completely willing to give you... Um, I heard more than a hookup. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. First, the 15th for the fire signs. Two of cups. All these cups. Okay. Nine of cups. Ten of Wands. Okay. 
three of wands. I feel like some of you are finding out about, you know, third party situations that you might have possibly been involved in. Look, because they're in both of these. And I feel like you are definitely, I feel like that's what's actually forcing you to step out on into your own energy and being single. I feel like you're actually going to manifest something that you've been wanting for a long time financially. I feel like this, in some way, this is going to propel you forward into a time of growth. I feel like you are definitely seeing a situation for what it truly is and you're packing your shit and walking away. I feel like for some of you, you will be moving I am seeing travel. I'm seeing moving. I feel like you have thought about moving for a while. I feel like you've really kind of been in your head contemplating about whether or not you were going to stay in a certain spot. And I feel like Mercury Retrograde is actually going to bring that back into play for you as far as thinking about different opportunities and where you can be happier or where you can actually grow from. Um, for some of you, like I'm definitely seeing trips, travel. For those of you who are starting a new relationship, I do not see that as being a long-term thing. Um, I feel like, I feel like an energy of hooking up and like being gone the next morning type deal, okay? Um, so definitely be aware between the 1st and the 15th, if you're thinking that you're going to hook up with somebody and it's going to turn into like a long-term relationship, it's, it's not. Um, there's something about this energy where it's just like, get under one to get over one. I keep hearing get under one to get over one. So I feel like there is this hardcore energy of, you know, um, basically putting a bandaid on the problem, okay? There's something in regards to putting a bandaid on the problem when you need to be focusing on healing your heart. Take that for what it is. Don't come for me. Um, yeah, we're going to see what's going on as far as your finances and career. Let's get out of that energy. Finances and career for the fire signs between the 1st and the 15th. First and the 15th. Finances and career. Too many and that was a flip. Finances and career. God, I keep getting the same the same stuff. You're really not focused. I feel like a lot of you are not going to be focused on your money between the 1st and the 15th. 1st and the 15th, finances and career. The Empress. Knight of Swords. The Star. Three of Swords. Underneath the moon. Okay, so basically, all right, so Spirit's definitely telling me that, you know, there's more to a situation than you are seeing. What's not seen is I feel like you are going to be forced to deal with a lot of emotions between the 1st and the 15th. Um, It's like what you're not seeing about this situation. It was it was meant to happen to make you move. I feel like you had gotten complacent in a situation that you were, you know, just staying in just because it worked. All right. I feel like you might have possibly stayed in a certain situation for financial stability or financial reasons. But what's not seen about the situation is something amazing is going to happen, but it's like, you would have never moved willingly, all right? So, I feel like this is kind of like divinely orchestrated to get you to move out of a stagnant energy, okay? It's like there was a heartbreak that took place that had to happen in order for you to be able to get to the level that you wanted to get to in life, all right? Like, I feel like between the 1st and the 15th, you're not worried about finances and career. You're not, you're mainly worried about, not worried. I feel like you're just more so in your feelings, okay? In the process of feeling your feelings, because I feel like you've been dealing with um, a really selfish individual who has really put you through it, okay? I feel like this is a time for you to heal your heart. Um, just be mindful what you are putting into your body in this time. 
because there may end up being, a, well, I don't mean, I'm, not, I'm just going to put it out there. There's some health situations that you need to be paying attention to. Um, some underlying health situations that you need to be paying attention to, okay? The moon, I'm getting, like, the moon being here, the moon being here. Did we just have a full moon? I feel like we just had a full moon. So, in some way, that was very significant for you. A, very, a turning point. Some of your mothers were possibly pregnant. I see that some of you are finding out about a pregnancy and then being very depressed about the pregnancy. Um, being... Um, kind of stressing out about how you're going to make it financially but i feel like you are protected even though you're not seeing it in this time i feel like you're just you're really hurt over a certain situation that went down i feel like you were dealing with an in and out individual who was wasting your time okay and i feel like you might have possibly like i feel i'm feeling a runner energy like i feel like you might have possibly told somebody that you were pregnant and then they ran out on you okay and i feel this is very depressing. And I really want to get out of that energy. So can we please bring this back up higher? Like, I feel like somebody wasn't ready for a child. Somebody wasn't ready for another child, okay? And I feel like they are running from a situation. But in some way, what's not seen about this situation, because I've got the star here, which is like wishes granted, and then I just pulled... Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. I feel like you have been focusing on a love of a lifetime, a love that you, you know, deserve, somebody that you deserve, some kind of relationship that, you know, you could get what you wanted out of a relationship. You were never going to have it with that in and, in and out individual. There's something about this person that wasn't set up to give you what it was that you truly wanted, what you truly desired. And the only way for you to have achieved that in life is for this person to run out, okay? Because I don't feel like you would have ever let go. I feel like you're a very solid, stable person, and it's like you weren't, you would have held this person, look, I said, you would have held this person down through thick and thin. But this type of individual is just in and out, you know, about their worldly needs, okay? And they didn't have your feelings in their mind at all and the only way for you to have the love and everything that you are hoping to get like i feel like you're in a process of manifesting but you didn't realize what you were manifesting okay i feel like a lot of you are very um powerful manifestors okay and you're really in the state of wondering how the fuck this could happen to me how how could this happen to me okay what you're not seeing about this is it is a blessing in disguise all right like i feel like this individual that you're dealing with is about to go through like a, a hardcore night of the soul, like dark night of the soul, okay? And I feel like they would have only dragged you down and dealt, you would have been dealing with a lot more emotional turmoil than you're even going to be dealing with because you're letting them go now, okay? Like I feel like you were actually being told to let this person go for a long time, but there was a situation that had to occur in order to force you to let it go. Because I feel like you was just, you was, you was a rider, okay? You was definitely a rider. But I feel like this person wasn't capable of giving you what it is that you want. Now that you're going through the separation, expressing yourself and your individuality, you're coming out as your true self. Like you are about to transform into the person that you were always meant to be, okay? And I feel like this is also going to attract a lot a lot of people in and I feel like it's actually going to attract that person in who is capable of giving you what it is that you truly deserve in a relationship I feel like this person is going to come in and really change the way that you even view yourself I feel like I almost feel like you're also in a fake it to make it energy I'm just gonna say it don't come for me okay fake it to make it energy in order to try to find yourself again but I, I feel like it's more authentic than what you've been doing I feel like you've been dumbing yourself down and putting yourself in this cookie cutter image of what you think society expects and I feel like you're actually going to come into a time of expressing yourself more authentically all right between the first and the 15th you're gonna be you know 
fuck the world do doing what you do you know and i feel like you're actually going to come up on an individual who is really going to see you your true beauty see you for you and want to give to you like i feel like it's someone who is going to nurture your spirit nurture your heart and show you the love that you could have never received with that night okay because it's like i feel like this night might have portrayed that they were like a king or no, nah, you knew they wasn't no king. I don't even feel like they're a knight. I feel like this person is actually a page, but this is just to show that they were in and out. Like it was an unstable energy. It's like you are in this energy of being stable, being, um, I, I feel like you're more of a fulfilling, you're a more fulfilling person than this other person is. Like I feel like they were just in this energy of wanting to fuck around. Okay. They don't want to be serious. And I feel like you might have gotten pregnant and then that's why they're running now. They're like, I can't do this. Okay? Star and the moon. But as I'm just really getting something about this. It's like you're not seeing the blessing. It's a blessing in disguise that this person is leaving. I heard HIV. Okay? So I feel like... You, you, I feel like you really dodged a bullet with this one because this person wasn't going to stop their actions and how they were acting. This person wasn't going to um, stop their late night trips and fucking around. And I really feel like you are dodging a bullet in regards to this. I also feel like this person, this individual who you're dealing with, I feel like they're involved in some kind of drug activity. That's possibly going to get them shot. Okay, because I said dodging the bullet and I'm like being attracted to, like I'm feeling like on the run. Like I feel like something about making a bad drug deal and mm, very intense, very intense. I feel like this person, like you just don't need to be attached to this person whenever, whenever they get their karma because I feel like it's like, uh, like, I must feel like spirit was having to do too much in order for them not to re receive their own karma to keep you from being attached to it, okay? I feel like that's something that you're not seeing, all right? But I feel like you're really getting out right before this person receives what it is that they've been, you know, what's been leading up to to this time, all right? What else does the fire signs need to be aware of between the 1st and the 15th? Because that was deep AF. What do they need to be aware of? We'll take the flipper. Healing. Healed. Healer. All right. Healing energy surrounds you in the situation. You are so focused on that other situation, man. Okay. New career. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. All right. So, I feel like things are actually going very well for you in regards to your finances and career. And it's like, I, th I feel like that's also why you're just like not even there. Um... I feel like you feel like you've got way too much on your plate to even be focusing on this finances and career, but your, your angels are trying to bless you. And I feel like you are going to actually end up helping a lot of people. I feel like you're going to be um, a huge blessing to the people in your place of employment because of 